I can't rejoice. I'm still angry. I'm not going to rejoice till they apologize. I'm not going to rejoice until he leaves that other woman. I'm not going to rejoice until my children appreciate me. You are wasting time. You have to let the past go and step over into the future and say, I, I will rejoice. You just have to get your mind out of trouble. If you can get your mind out, you can get your money out. You can get your family out. You can get your job out. You can get your career out. You can get your health out. You can get your prosperity out. If you can get your mind out, no devil in hell, no weapon formed against you, no enemy that hates you, no witch that hexes you can stop you from being free. If you can get your mind out, grab yourself by the hand and say, we're coming out of this. Yeah, I'm coming out head first. I'm going to get my head out. I'm going to get my thinking out. I'm going to get my mentality out. I'm coming out head first. And when my head comes, everything that's connected to the head is going to have to come out too. I'm getting my head transformed by the renewing of your mind. Not by the clock striking 12, but by the renewing of your mind. I'm going to tell you why watch night is going to have meaning to you. Not because it's midnight, but because some of you have gone through so much hell last year that the trouble you went through forced you that you know you can't go into the future thinking like you were thinking and feeling like you were feeling. You are forced to the point that you have got to get your head out first and everything else is going to follow. You have to fix the mind before you can bestow the blessing because until they get their mind right, everything you invest in them is going to leak out of the crevices of a mind that refuses to change. Give me a new perspective. Give me a new way of looking at my situation. Give me a new way of looking at my circumstances. Get my mind ready for this year because when I get this year, there's going to be blessings. There's going to be miracles. There's going to be opportunities. Oh yes, there's going to be some struggles. It's going to be some challenges. It's going to be some tests. But even the struggles are an opportunity for me to show off the victory if my mind can handle the change to dump out all jealousy, all pettiness, all unforgiveness, all strife, all malice, all confusion, all blaming other people for your mistake. Get rid of every poison that's hindering you, every inflexibility that's stopping you from what God is about to pour into your life. Woe be unto you if you go into another year and waste another year with the old mentality while somebody's in the hospital begging for the opportunity that you have right now. You better step into this moment.